Corey, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hello, how you doing? Ken, uh, I'm doing great, Corey. How are you? Good. How can I help? Um, so I I work as an assistant manager at a restaurant. Um, I really love my job. I love working there. Um, but I got another job offered to be an assistant manager um, at a restaurant that's a lot closer to my house. Right now, I travel about half an hour to my restaurant, mm -hmm. and I got a job offer that's about 10 minutes to my restaurant, so it's a, it's a lot closer. Um, they have more benefits. I can move up the ladders faster, you know, and I can't really do that at the restaurant I'm at now. Great. And so I decided I decided to take the new, new offer, the new job. Excellent. And I come to work. And so I come to work today and I give my two weeks to my boss and she starts flipping out. She's all mad about me giving my two weeks. She says I'm being disrespectful. I should have told them at advance time, but I didn't know I was getting the job until yesterday. Yeah. So, so, so hold on. So let's just stop right there. Yeah. She's wrong. Yep. Not only is she wrong, you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. You just found out yesterday. You yep. don't owe her anything other than what you just did, which is very professional. And you told her is the minute that you took the new job. Um, the fact that she's mad tells me that she's under a lot of stress. I don't want to make her, com you know, uh, the complete bad guy here, but she's not a healthy leader. She should know in the restaurant business, there's high turnover, true or false. True. She should be doing the best that she can do to give you a counter offer right now. But I bet she didn't even ask. No, I didn't get. I got no counter offer. Yeah, nothing. because she didn't ask. She didn't even say. And I, you know. And then I was also I was also told that she might kick me out before the two weeks are over. Fantastic. Yep. Great. Let her kick you out. What do you care? <laughs> yep. That's totally unhealthy. It's horrible leadership. She's a horrible boss. I made a yep. term for that called horrible bossery. That's what that is. Horrible bossery. Yep. It's an, it's an action. She, I'm not telling you that she's a horrible person. I want to separate the two. Because I think she's hurting. I yeah. think she's stressed out. I think she's freaking out because she's freaking out. Let me explain what I mean by that. She's freaking out on you and making it personal to you because she's freaking mm -hmm. out going, oh, man, i got to fill a big hole. Because it's hard to get people into that restaurant to work. Am I, am I right or am I wrong? Oh, you're right. Okay, that's not your problem. Is yep. that why you called me? I went ahead and jumped in. Yep. I went ahead and just said, well, yep. let me just tell you. You don't need yeah, to feel so, guilty about this. Okay. You understand? So what should I do? Yeah, what should I do for the remaining time? Show up until she, do you be a man of your word. You gave her two weeks. Okay. You keep showing up until you hear otherwise. Okay. That's character. That's a, that's a man of integrity. I'm going to keep showing up. Until I hear different from her. I gave her two weeks, so I'm going to work the schedule that gets put out. What was already on the books, I'm going to show up and I'm going to do a good job. Okay. Be classy, man. Kill her with kindness. Don't play games. She's trying to play a game if she keeps this up. I'll give her a pass, meaning I'll forgive her if she asks for forgiveness. She needs to ask yeah. for forgiveness. She needs to go, you know what, I freaked out because I'm freaking out. I understand that. I completely understand that. But if she keeps this nonsense up and and plays this cold shoulder routine and ignores you or whatever, whatever, or she just goes, I don't want you coming back, go, all right. All right yep. Don't engage in anything that is not adult, mature adult activity. Don't play games. What do you care? Uh, all right, yeah. Yeah, man. Congratulations, by the way. You know what I love about this? You made your life better. Yeah. Your your commute's less. And it sounds to me like you've also given yourself a chance for advancement, climbing up the ladder. Right? Yep. All right. Thank you. All right, buddy. Appreciate the call. Folks, we get this call a lot. Should I feel guilty? Well, let's just break down the word guilt. What is guilt usually associated with? Doing something illegal. But it's what juries and judges deal with. Did you do something unethical? Did you do something illegal? If the answer is no, then we shouldn't have any guilt. You're not guilty of wrongdoing.
I, I also want to acknowledge that everybody, you know, wants to be liked. Everybody wants to leave a good impression. Most people. You got some psychopaths or people that are really hurting that 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 can't do it. I'm not joking. I mean, when I'm talking about a true psychotic psychopath that does not have the capability of wanting to be liked, and then I'm talking about people that are really hurt. You know, this is an old phrase, been around forever, hurting people hurt people. Now, it's hard when somebody hurts us to acknowledge that they, they themselves may be hurting. doesn't mean it's okay for them to hurt you, but we do have to understand that when someone is really hurt, their ability to be rational is extremely limited. Come on, we understand that. So they're, you know, I, I always want to give people a pass, no matter how bad they hurt me. If I realize that they now realize that they were acting out of hurt, they acknowledge the hurt, it was not something they did consciously, it was not premeditated, it was an act of pain. Let me, let me give you an example. When, when, when our last caller told his boss that he was resigning, he told her today, and she freaked out. Can I tell you what happened? Now, I don't know what she's going to do in the hours and days to come, but let me tell you what it is. It is no different than me hammering my thumb with a hammer. You ever done that before? I have. It hurts, right? You're doing this number right here, and then whammo, you hit your thumb, and what do you do? You don't go, oh, dear, that smarts a little bit. I'm going to decide right now whether or not I'm going to show any facial pain or if I'm going to make a noise. No, what do you do? You go, oh, bleep. It's not premeditated. It hurt. You smack your thumb, and the pain causes an immediate reaction. So a lot of times leaders... And she's feeling the the stress of, I got to replace this guy. That's how, all I can do to get people in for the shift tomorrow. That's a place of pain. Is it okay that she was that way? No, but it's, but it's understandable. And then we want to give them some grace to see, can they acknowledge it? Can they make it right? And can they learn from it? So just because your boss mistreats you, it's not a... It's not an automatic, I gotta go, they hurt my feelings. No, come on, you be a big boy, big girl and see if they can be. Then we deal with that.